Firefighters from all over Southern California are battling the rabbit fire in Beaumont. Evacuation orders remain in place, but containment has improved to 10%. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live in Beaumont with the latest on the fire conditions there. Annie Rose. Pedro and Lauren, good morning to you both. At this hour, about 7,600 acres burning, but 10% contained. New shifts are starting at this hour. You can see there's a firefighter behind me to the left. One of them, or two of them rather, I should say, working on a hot spot here that's next to the Route 79 in this area. Over 300 firefighters are out here all beginning their shift at 9 a.m. They're going to be working for 24 hours straight in this hot heat. I want to bring in Chief Spellman because you are sort of in charge on behalf of CAL FIRE of everything. Talk about what's going on right now. So right now uh, we've really knocked everything down overnight and as you can see uh, the fire's kind of laying down and so now we're getting in there to make sure that all of the ash, everything kind of like in your fireplace, uh, we're essentially extinguishing that to make sure we can walk away and there won't be any heat left. So as this day and the heat sort of really turns on, it was 80 about an hour ago. It's only going to go up from here. We've been hearing excessive heat warnings from our Casey Montoya. What happens to those hot spots that we've been seeing around here? Because those go up in flames at any one point. They absolutely can. What can happen is the root ball underneath the plant can actually be hot and ashes. And so if a wind comes up, the ashes can fly across the, the road, essentially, to the unburned area and start another fire, and it'll be off to the races. We're at an area that doesn't have a lot of homes, but we know that homes and people are impacted. Talk a little bit about, is anyone being evacuated? Is there an alert? Are they, what are they supposed to do as this morning continues into the day? We do have some evacuations and we have some warnings and the people definitely in the warnings, we want to make sure that they pay attention to whatever the weather's doing. If they see smoke and if, and if they feel threatened, please, by all means, leave. Even if a fire department person or police officer is not in the area, you should leave if you feel threatened. Pedro, and as well as you mentioned, able to make that headway overnight during those cool hours. What happens now that it gets hotter, now that, you know, your firefighters are not only fighting the fire, but they're also, you know, up against this heat. You've told me you have hundreds of firefighters out here. You know, what are they grappling with throughout the day? Well, I always like to make an example of putting on your ski clothes, putting about 50 to 75 pounds on your back, and then just go outside in the middle of the day and start doing all of your garden work and lawn work out in front of your house. That's what they're feeling like. So really it's more of a marathon more than a sprint. We wanna make sure that you just keep working, stay hydrated, and uh, we train for this. This is, this is what we do. Last question, you know, we haven't seen that many active flames. We've seen some smoke coming out of the ground, but haven't seen too much active flames. As, as far as you know, we know that thousands of acres have been impacted. Are there still active flames out here in this rabbit fire? Right now, I haven't seen any. That doesn't mean there isn't pockets throughout this fire, yeah. but uh, we'll continue to look for those and make sure that we take care of them throughout the day. Got a long, hot day ahead of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time, Chief Spellman. Um, that is the latest. We haven't seen too much of those active flames, but we know that over 300 firefighters out here working, just getting started on their shift, and it's going to be a long day ahead of them. 10% contained so far. We'll send it back to you both in Hollywood.